Big school of jacks, big school of jacks. Oh. Hey, good morning, Grumpaholics from Grumpyville, Larry G. Um, here's a little intro to what happened yesterday and a video that I put together. Unfortunately, I got my GoPro camera back from GoPro late yesterday. I wished I would have had it um, yesterday before I went out, but I did not. Uh, I did have my contour, but uh, yesterday was an incredible day. Uh, fishing one of my go-to spots. Uh, with the fly rod, uh, walking and waiting, and kind of a regular old day, and uh, then all hell broke loose. And um, how it went down, uh, pretty basic. Um, I was walking the beach, and excuse me, lo and behold, uh, a couple of big dark shapes swimming towards me. I didn't know what kind of fish they were, but they were pretty substantial in size. And I had a fly on that we had tied the night before I went to the um, fly, fish, fly fishers of Northwest Florida uh, fly tying session the night before which meets over here in our neighborhood uh, once a month and we tied up the redfish rattler um, which is a pretty cool little pattern it's actually got a little rattle cage in it uh, not that I think that made a huge difference in this episode but uh, that's I decided to go out yesterday and, and walk around and throw that fly a little bit and lo and behold again um, A couple of shapes come by I throw the fly out start stripping and these fish fight for it Explode on the fly I hook up and 30 minutes later I land my first big jack on the fly rod. Um, I've caught him before in South Florida, but smaller jacks um, Unbelievable just incredible fight got the fish in super psyched and then um, walking, I was happy with my day. And at that point, I decided to walk back to the car and head home. I had some stuff to take care of. And on the way back, I had to walk probably close to a half mile to get back. Um, here comes another, a big school, a Jax. Probably at least 100 strong. And you will see in the video how that went down. But I had the opportunity to get ready, make a cast, strip, a couple fish followed. Got super excited, like three or four fish chased a fly and then bailed back into the group. Ran down the beach, got another good shot. Uh, a couple fish came out, kind of exploded on the fly in the surface, missed it, bailed back into the group. And then the third shot, I had a sprint. I'm old, so sprinting's not easy for me at this point. I had to sprint down the beach, get out in front of the fish throw again and sure enough out of the side of the pack a couple fish came and one of them ate and it was bigger than the first jack i caught and uh just an incredible day um i fought that fish for over 30 minutes got him in I'm t i tried to compact the video so you don't have to watch all the fighting i know it's kind of boring but just so you can get an idea of how long it took and how much line they took out i got into the backing first fish almost spooled me completely uh, but both fish over 100 yards into the backing in just a war. Uh, probably pound per pound, one of the, the toughest fish to fight out there, especially on the fly rod. So that's what went down out there yesterday. On the way back to the car, um, I stopped to talk to a couple of kayakers, some nice folks. And once I left them, I was almost back to where I had parked. And on the way back, sure enough, a couple of big reds come cruising on the beach. And I got a great cast at him, and one of the reds peeled out of their little twosome and came over, looked at the fly. I bumped it a little bit. He kind of stayed interested, but then he, he, he bailed. So it was super close to an eat, which would have just been ridiculous. Um, but a great day. Here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll post this up on my new Facebook page as well. Um, that page is called 
panhandle fly fishing charters and that's going to be my new business once i get everything in order it's going to be a little bit i've got some some work to take care of with that uh, a couple of steps and and then i'll be up and running uh, i'm going to be specializing in half day waiting only fly fishing trips and charters here in the panhandle so more on that in the future but just so you know all right i'm larry g good morning enjoy this video unbelievable day i don't even know what to say like subscribe we'll catch you on the sand i'm out Yes, 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 unbelievable, I don't know what I got here, but it happened so fast, two fish cruising the flat, I think it's a jack. I've got my work cut out for me here. Into the backing. That happened so fast. Two fish cruising side by side. The second fish is still with this fish. And, uh, wow, that was crazy. I got to try and shut him down here. So fast. I just had to get it together as quick as I could and try and get the fly out in front of them. That, those fish charged it. I'm on 12 pound fluorocarbon right now. Got a lot of torque on this line with so much line out. And I'm not making any headway. But I sure hope I get a look at whatever this is. I think there were two big jacks. Wow, glad I got the 10 weight. But uh, you can see the end of the arms backing. I might be in trouble here, guys. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Big fish though, regardless. Finally. Just gotta get them turned if I can. That's again, I'm on 12 pound fluorocarbon leader right now, and this is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well. Wow. I think I'm going to have to say see ya. Unbelievable. Come on. Just got to try and turn them. Just got to try and turn them, guys. Yeah, I'm almost all out of backing here. Oh, we're making some headway. We're making headway. We're making headway. We're making some headway. Come on, get me. At least get me back to the fly line, guys. At least get me back to the fly line. This is my first substantial non-redfish eat. And it was violent. Got some head shaking going on. Well, now I'm losing, losing what I had. That was awesome. I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. Whatever I got going, this is a ten weight. I'm getting worked. Certainly hooked well.
had a better fight than this, ever. Yeah, I think it's a big jack. Awesome. I gotta try and get him turned here. Alright. That was a sign right there. Look at that. Look at... Yes! Right on! Woo! How about that, guys? Oh! Whoa! Come on, swim off. Here we go. Keep it rolling, buddy. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. There he goes. Yes. Successful. Release. Back. Thank you, Mr. Jack. Big school of jacks, big school of jacks. Oh. 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 
Yes. Yeah. Another. Oh. Another. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Unreal. Huh. Oh. I'm worked right now. Oh. Make it stop, right? That was amazing. Like a hundred jacks more, maybe in that school. I can see my fish. Oh. I am worked. That eat was sick. Hopefully this guy won't be as tough to get in as the last one. shallower water. Uh, he's given a little, not much. At this point anything I can take is a win. Thank goodness I have my 10 weight. And this is the reason I fish with my 10 weight smaller fish because you got to be prepared for these situations when they happen. I'm just shocked that this thing is not holding up. Scientific anglers. Tapered fluoro, 12 pound redfish leader. It's not like these guys aren't toothy. Wouldn't mind seeing them again at some point. My arm is cramping up. First world problems. Come on, we're almost done here, bud. We're almost done. I don't know why anybody would want to fish with an eight weight for these things. We're almost done. We can do this together. Me and you. We can do this together. We can do it together. Come on. We can do it. I don't want to bust you off here. I'll make sure you swim off. Oh man, you are killing me. Oh, come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Give us both a break. Yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh. Wow. Bigger guys. <laughs> yeah. Big shark out of here. Unreal. What a day. See if he made it. That's a big shark. <laughs> it just came cruising by. This guy's out here doing his jaws. 